Oh. And we have an unseen horror. Nice and early here, it seems. Oh, joy. Well, here, let's go into a hallway to make our life a little bit easier. I was spamming a little too hard in my attempts there. Okay, potion of curing. Not quite going to do it. It was a potion of curing. Okay, so that one was doubled up. And we do have it again if we need it. I wish we could save it for a, a bit more of a necessary time, but I guess such is life. We'll constrict you. Oh, and just barely get through by the skin of our teeth there. Yikes. Well, early unseen horror. Definitely it can be a challenge on most characters, so can't be too upset about that whatsoever. They also got minus 30 instead of minus 40, but they lost their move speed. So Smindar, I'm guessing that's for health. They went from minus 40% to minus 30% or what have you. They no longer have their speed, eh? So now it's just brigands that are fast, right? I don't think anyone else can motor when the push comes to shove. Definitely puts Spriggans back in their, or into rather, their kind of niche unique strategy. Feel stronger times three. So definitely looked like we got an additional strength there at level nine. Very nice. And of course, got some fast friends here and I'm not talking about kids you meet in kindergarten. But perfect, we'll just drag these kidly winks upstairs real quick and probably head down a different stairwell. Let's not come face to face with our ogre friend. Spike Club could definitely very quickly give us a run for our money here. I will immediately, however, switch into a robe of willpower. Looking fantastic. I mean, I'm sure realistically the robe's flowing fabric would uh, get in the way a little bit of our martial prowess, but fortunately the game abstracts that a, a wee bit gives us a nice break so we can kill in style and that's always very important those changes can't possibly be worth losing speed and balance must be an overall nerf yeah you know i was not aware of the speed and that definitely is a pretty huge disadvantage i mean it's very nice to have the health fixed up Tropa tip darts and a plus five falchion. I have no idea which of those is making you glow all fancy like. Oh, I also got confused. Oh, I guess that's the Atropa. Never mind, ignore me. Oof. And unfortunately, I was trying to get away from the, the pull arm wielders here, but I guess not the end of the world after all. We do manage to squeak by there, so that is fantastic. Let's pop ourselves into a corner to heal up. And beautiful, our uh, shadowy aura is definitely growing here nicely. I will for sure buy a curing potion as well. It is an overall nerf you found. Oof. <laughs> and I take back everything I was saying. Sorry, feel it players. Still in a, a bit of a rough boat, it seems. Definitely good to know. I don't know if we'll ever be playing field in this series. I don't know, maybe that's what we're missing. We need to throw out some of the, the more challenging species. There you are, Rue, you son of a gun. I guess we could have held out hope for a hero, but you were too late and we've moved on to another. Sorry to say. Fantastic. Especially since attacks of opportunity don't happen if you're faster. Oh right, I do remember that being mentioned the other day, the attacks of opportunity now require the enemy to step with you, and they also returned random energy I believe, so they're, we're back to there always being a chance that enemies will fall behind or catch up as you, you walk away. Ooh, and darts of dispersal. Is this, did they change the boomerangs into darts, or do they both still exist? That must have been because boomerangs just also were so strong in their own right <laughs> that having the utility of dispersal also added to the equation made things a little too straightforward. Or it was more of a flavor thing. Who's to say? I'm definitely not very well versed in the uh, decision-making process 
on these updates. But very interesting to see nonetheless. Oh, random energy is back. That's surprising. I believe so. They were so against pillar dancing before. Right? Yeah, I'm curious why it came in. What the heck? <laughs> Plus 11 whip of the eternal night. A heavy whip, resist poison, really good fire resistance. I mean... Temporarily, that's got to be better than our unarmed, right? 22 damage rating would go to 30. We're also attack delay of 0.8 versus... Let's check this bad boy out. 1.6. Never mind. I'm just going to drop you right away little bit on the slow side for us and we're I guess a little bit more or a little bit further along on our unarmed journey than I originally expected to see which is a fantastic surprise to say the least it's only a whip but it's one heck of a whip no kidding I just get excited you know when you see a number like that this early on in the run it's always a, a nice little treat even if you don't end up going with the artifact and exactly, Thalfon, yeah, that heavy brand. I thought it would have more effect on the damage. I guess whips do have such a low base damage that it didn't end up being too much of a... Uh, a beneficial calculus, I guess. Oh, and you're wielding an orc bow? That's new as well. Interesting. Well, I'd like to take you kiddos to a little bit of a corner here just to get that Orc Priest in a slightly more manageable position. Beautiful. And let's take a look. Orc Bow. Base damage of 11. Okay, so this seems to be slightly more powerful than like a short bow, but not to the degree of a long bow either. Interesting. A recurved bow. Very cool. Shows the influence of their elven allies. See, I didn't even know that was in the lore. I guess we do find them both together in elf a lot of the time, and they're next door neighbors, so it does make a certain amount of sense. Oh, and we get leech. Interesting. Again, I don't think we're on a run that's going to take advantage or use that, but we do like to see leech generally. It's always a fun one. Spinner, you still haven't found a use for the heavy brand. Very rarely, I think, oh, what character did we have that made heavy work? It was definitely a very fast attacking weapon and it kind of brought it up to par. I believe it might've been a bow that was dealing the same damage as like a double crossbow. So that was kind of cool, but generally it's given me more trouble than it's given me any benefit. Okay, Wand of Flame gives you your fancy thing. So generally, it seems like accessories so far. Fancy darts, wands, what have you, etc., etc. Maybe it's okay on ranged weapons if they're not your primary kill dude skill. Yeah, I think ranged weapons, you know, because you can kind of get away with the slow attack speed as enemies approach, if you're killing them before they reach you, it's not a problem really in my books. But very rarely does that happen to work out. Maybe it was even a hand crossbow that was hitting as hard as one of its larger two-handed cousins or something like that. Regardless, it was all kind of academic and very situationally advantageous, if at all advantageous. I feel like it might have been more for the, the fun and trying out something new than any tangible benefit. Hello, Maimon. Um, we do have one curing. Yikes. So I think what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to turn into a tree first. And we'll see. Might even just survive without the curing. Ah, not quite. It was close. But unfortunately, still taking a lot of damage. And I was hoping that we would uh, be saved by tree form in regards to not having more poison applied. But yikes. Oh no. <laughs> um, This is not a good look for us here. Sting for 15, hit 8. Right, I'm trying to... Okay, let's relearn how to read this screen. We, of course, have the evasion chance, chance to hit us. Oh, these are the attacks. Sting and hit. Max damage, 15, 8. Okay, I do like the table approach. Very nice. Very cool. 
probably synergize well with gods that use your attack as part of a calculation. Things like Wujian, maybe? Interesting. In fact, yeah, could you do like a heavy weapon stabber character? <laughs> you know, just try to do enough damage with that initial smack that you can get through pretty much anything. There's a potion of enlightenment. Okay, so that's instead of flight, uplifts both the body and mind. Increasing our will and lifting us from the ground. Oh, that's very cool. Actually giving potions of flight a little bit of a, a use case here. Very cool. I'm going to keep chugging random potions here. The generation's not going to do the trick. Bubbling yellow could be heal. Yikes. Unfortunately, yeah, 17% chance to charm you is not great. Not great by any means. What else could we possibly do? do here unfortunately constriction you're already in attack range i could just keep chugging randomly what i should have done and you know i thought of it briefly i think a few floors ago and then got distracted by experimenting with some of the new fun mechanics we have nine scrolls in a stack so that's probably id and probably could have saved our lives multiple ways over but unfortunately such was not meant to be oh my gosh we do get the heal wounds though Oh no, how do I convert this? Only 29% chance to blow your mind is not really good enough. Could try a few more scrolls here. Yeah, fear is not going to do it against a demon. Magic mapping also not going to do it. Wait, I'm also seeing through walls? <laughs> no, there are so many little changes I was not expecting. I was ready to deal with a lot of the big, you know, sweeping bits. But scrolls of revelation, how about that? Everything within a moderate radius is momentarily shown, including invisible monsters. That's cool, a bit of a alternative to see invisible gear as well. Not too shabby. Um, what do I do now though? I ask myself, panic, pray, unfortunately, it's not a lot for us. I could go for, Dispersal. No? Yes? Maybe so? Oh, I'm gonna die. Unfortunately. The poison has proven too much. We've already done all of our healing potions, so I don't think there's really anything that can save us. I guess if I fear you, head upstairs, can I temporarily boost my HP at all? don't think so. If we stole the Lignification Potion, that would do the trick. Interesting. Where's our hit chance? Or what's our hit chance on the Dispersal Dart? It was up to 93, so the fact that that first one missed is an atrocity. The likes we've never seen before. But, I guess we're just gonna hope for Ambrosia here. Potion of Haste, that's not gonna do it. Rage? Might do it? Holy crap, it did. <laughs> okay, well that's the one use case of a Berserk Potion. <laughs> Normally it's like floor one if you're panicking, it can kind of get you out of a nasty situation, but otherwise fairly useless. However, in this example, life-saving. Not too shabby. Uh, let's get our Centaur buddies. Closing the gap, unfortunately, doesn't really fully do the trick. Um, also, let's uh, not be too too stupid here today. Let's read those ID scrolls now before we find ourselves in the same boat in just a few moments here, shall we? There we go. Teleportation is beautiful. Blinking, wonderful. Not so much on the rest of these bad boys. Getting all the purple scrolls. <laughs> all the fancy special scrolls one could possibly dream of. Otherwise... I guess we could probably head back to this stairwell. We we're largely already out of fighting shape thanks to uh, a Maimon there. Yeah, no problems whatsoever this time around. So that is beautiful. Okay, well, we've had an exciting journey so far, to say the least. 
Hello, Lemures. Uh, if you could all just chill for the briefest of moments. Pickle? Sir? Okay, we're never going to catch up to you, I guess. We're just all <laughs> in this ring around the rosy until the end of time. There you are. Okay, I don't really want to be surrounded, but I do want Pickle. There you go. To get some nice just desserts here, take care of you. I feel like, from my very limited knowledge of the, the mythology of Oni, we'd be very pro freeing things from their servitude. But I'm not sure how much of that my brain is just making up on the spot here versus is actually relevant or present in the, the mythology itself. Okay, come one, come all. Looks like uh, meat's back on the menu, boys. As we hit all of our skill caps as well, holy moly. Um, invocations, what does invo get us? Probably some improvements on the shadow strike, hey? As well as just the ability to cast, like the ability that turns us into shadows or lets us melt through the shadows. Basically, anything you can think about in that general vein and theme. Interesting. Um, well, not super interested. Unfortunately, I can't quit out of here to see how these things would affect our options in the future. So let's maybe, for now, put shapeshifting back on. And what I wanted to check out is that we've maxed our sleigh bonus from the Beast Talisman. Fair enough. We've also, okay, now just hit the minimum skill for the Flux Talisman. So high contamination damage, our day-to-day -day hits would go down, but we do get some bonus evasion. Interesting. And this one will remove weapons, shields, or body armor. Unfortunately, can't wear gloves, hats, boots anyway, so that doesn't really help us. And it also... <laughs> completely removes any of the, the stealth effect that we get from our Umbra. No, for better or for worse. Largely the latter, unfortunately. But okay, we're gonna Potion of Might to just try to tank our way through the last remnants of this encounter. That's beautiful. Maybe not completely necessary, but felt like playing it a little safe as we were getting slightly lower than comfortable over the course of the encounter and not too shabby that should be the majority of the floor taken care of unfortunately our troll friend doesn't see it in their heart to uh give us their skin so we'll just have to make do with what we currently have for the moment here a bit of regen would definitely have been nice to kind of help us with the the sustainability throughout these encounters but it is what it is, I guess. Ooh, Barding's got an update to the, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? The tile sprite as well. So that's very cool. I'm sure there'll be a few of those thrown in. It's fun little surprises as well. Don't actually know what effect hit you. I wasn't familiar with that little blue marker we saw. Unfortunately, didn't seem to help you out too much, and you are just dead now. Um, again, unfortunately, for you more so than for me, because I'm very happy to see the uh, effect come to pass here. And immediately hit our 10 shapeshifting. Um, I don't know if we're actually going to try the flux. I guess we'd kind of be saving it... For when we do eventually find another talisman, or at least I hope we eventually find another talisman, could be fun. So in that case, let's take advantage of the plus three aptitude on fighting to just ramp up our max HP as much as we possibly can, shall we? And I should not stand in the middle of the party and let everyone have their way with me, but fortunately did not really come back to bite us in the butt too much there. Oh, so wait, the beast one could have held a weapon? It does seem to be. It's not on the list of exempted goods, weapon, shield, what have you. Don't know why what have you is 
one of my new catchphrases for today, but we'll just roll with it for now. I think the main thing with wielding a weapon in beast mode is that we do have this unarmed base damage bonus, but the slain would still come through. So you'd still get that plus four to slain, which is pretty fantastic. We'll have to see how the other talismans work in that regard, what slots they take up, as well as uh, what effects they have here. Shadow, hello friend. Not too bad. The shadow now sometimes tangibly mimics our actions, so I don't know if this will take effect on our unarmed strikes. I'm hoping it will. I'm also slightly worried about you, friend. 34 max damage, eh? Hey? Good chance to hit us. A little bit better at evading our attacks than I'd like as well. Makes you think the late game weapon user could still get use out of 7 level shapeshift, for example. For sure, I mean it does take away a lot of your accessory slots, but as you mentioned, if your species is lacking in them, you can probably make it work. So I was kind of surprised that Shapeshifter wasn't a suggested background for Oni because our slots, our armor slots, are so limited already that why not? But yeah, put some experience into Shapeshifting and try it out. Just made sense to me. Um, do you know what? I'm actually gonna pop our way in here real quick. Unfortunately, it's not quite as defensive as I would like, and in fact, I probably didn't want to barb you all now that I think about it. That might have been a horrible error in judgment. Let's see, do I have anything piercing here? Does not look like it. We do have some, uh, like a fear scroll if we need to get out of here in a hurry, as well as blinking may not have been the best move in the first place to kind of tuck ourselves into the corner but we've made our bed and now we must lay in it I guess let's try to blow your mind one last time nope okay then I will just take the barbs hit there in order to close the gap I think we have to and similarly we'll uh, pull you kiddos down here oof the six free is not what we wanted to see here. Hmm. Don't really want to blink out in a very temporary alleviating of the symptoms. Also though, you can steal way too much damage. Oh no. I don't know if we'll have time for the teleport, but we're gonna give it a shot. 29% chance to hit you is not great, but it'll hopefully hit the null behind you. And then I just need to survive the tiniest bit longer, eh? 17% chance to charm you. Let's go for it. No, oh. <laughs> we do unfortunately pass there, but hey, it was a good experiment to, to see what shape shifting was all about. We at least got a taste. I'm curious if you'd almost not start as shapeshifter. I guess it gives you some nice unarmed experience right off the bat. It's, it's also pretty sweet starting with the beast totem. I don't know how hard it's going to be to find talismans as we go about. I also just realized that I didn't even put the seed for that run up. So of course we were just destined to lose, Starinsky. You were too excited. Jump the gun on the, uh, the general process. And for what? For what? 